All right, Hans, your legal expertise here. I mean, the biggest question here is, is were these actions, is the payment or the repayment of this money for the non-disclosure agreement, is this a violation of campaign finance law? No, I don't believe it is. I, I actually agree with Alan Dershowitz and, and Mark Levin that this was not a campaign-related expense. And one of the reasons we know that to be true is that the U.S. Justice Department actually tried to make this similar type of argument during the Obama administration. You may recall they tried to prosecute John Edwards, the former Democratic presidential candidate, when some of his campaign contributors paid a million dollars to his uh, mistress to keep that quiet. And th that was an even worse situation because that was actually campaign contributors uh, making the payment. Plus, the mistress actually was working for the presidential campaign. That's very different from the situation here uh, where it's over events that happened years before the campaign. No campaign funds were used for it. So I think uh, the, the Justice Department actually is fortunate Cohen agreed to a plea deal, because if they actually had to go to court and try to prove this, I think they would lose, just like they did during the John Edwards prosecution. So let's play their game just for a minute here. Say that this was a campaign finance law violation. Say right. that it was. We don't think it is, but let's accept their premise for a second. If it was, and this $130,000 plus the $150,000 payments that Trump made to these uh, porn stars, these women he is alleged to have an affair with, would that be um, a high crime and misdemeanor worthy of impeachment by the House of Representatives? Well, I don't think so, particularly if you look at the history of the Federal Election Commission, which is the agency that enforces our campaign finance laws, and prior presidential campaigns. There are many prior presidential campaigns that were fined for violations of the uh, Federal Election Campaign Act, including the one you mentioned, the Obama campaign, $375,000 fine for uh, basically hiding the identities of the donors of one, $1.8 million worth of contributions to the campaign, along with some other offenses. I, I don't seem to recall anybody saying at the time that Barack Obama should be impeached because of that campaign violation, which, by the way, was, was uh, one of the largest uh, fines that the FEC uh, has ever uh, imposed in its history. Right, I don't recall anybody actually even talking about right. this at all. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.